We start with our Project Safe Schools coverage this evening. We're hearing from officials and parents at Jenks Public Schools after a bomb threat posted to social media resulted in a student's arrest. Two News reporter Samson Tamajani joins us live now in studio. He found a district-created app alerted authorities in the first place. Samson? Yeah, Karen, that's right. Jenks Public Schools says there's no current threat and that school went on as normal today after getting help from city police and the FBI. The incident began late Wednesday night. According to the district, an anonymous Snapchat user posted that they would bomb Jenks Middle School next month. Another student's parent found out, then alerted through the Trojan tip line app. It comes up with this kind of landing page, and then you just click submit a tip, and then I can pick which group I want it to go to. Rob Lieber from Jenks Public Schools says the Trojan tip line app is a payoff of past bond elections after it was used to report a bomb threat made to Jenks Middle School. People are on their phones constantly and so we make it very easy for people to leave that tip and I, I think it's it's empowered a lot of people because it is completely anonymous and they feel comfortable sharing information that way. David Crow of the Facebook group Jenks Parents and Alumni for Safe Schools is also thankful for the app but still has concern for his child who will start at Jenks Middle School this fall. You don't want your kid going into an environment like that. I, I attended middle school at Jenks, never had anything like this, and uh, never had some of the stories that we hear of, of violence and fighting. Uh, it just doesn't have a place in our schools. After contacting Snapchat's corporate office, the FBI and JPS identified the person responsible as a student enrolled at the middle school. Jenks police says an arrest was made by lunchtime Thursday where the student lives, and juvenile charges have since been filed. Officer Joshua Semke says this case serves as an example for parents as well. Always be on the lookout on your child's social media pages. Constantly keep a daily view of what they're posting what they're seeing. Luckily, this ended up being a parent that actually was reviewing uh, their child's social media page and actually observed this threat. The school district and Crow echo that call. Number one is, is talk to your kids about their use of social media and what they're putting on there. We hear all this talk about curriculum and this and that. You know, your kids calling up making bomb threats or doing something on social media. Uh, mom and dad need to be engaged. Now, authorities believe the accused student posted the threat on their own. Jenks police says they were taken into custody with parental supervision present. Live in studio tonight, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.